hi guys. Um, me and Nelly are going to do you a little um, stretch this morning um, for you to do. Um, it's basically all over the body, uh, but I'm just spending a little, a little bit of time on the upper body, not a lot. It's mainly hips and back, uh, legs that we struggle with anyway, although I do get it in my shoulders and neck. Alright, so we're just going to start off seated. Hopefully you can see me here. So just sitting in a comfortable position, whatever's comfortable for you. So let's start with the arms out, palms facing down. So I want you to reach those fingers away from you, drop your shoulders. So really reach them, then point the fingers down towards the floor. So then push your wrists away. It, then lift the fingers up towards the ceiling and again push them palms away. So try to keep those shoulders dropped. Okay, well done. Okay, straighten the hands again. So we're going to rotate the palms to me, then the palms up towards the ceiling. Lengthen the arms. Okay, rotate back around. And this time, turn the thumbs round to the back of the room. Just get in all areas in your arms. Okay, let's take it into triceps. So taking one arm up into the air. Try and keep the arm close to your head. Then take the hand back and push away with the arm rather than the elbow. That's it, just get into the triceps. If you can grab your hands at the back, you can do that. The same, just pull it a little bit further then. Try not to have your neck like this, so, yeah? That's it. So we're gonna hold each stretch for about 20, 30 seconds to improve your flexibility um, and will change the look of your muscles. From short and fat to slender and thin. <laughs> okay, let's switch sides. Push it back, don't think as, as good on this side. Oh, just about reach. Use it as a time to relax too. <laughs> okay, gently release, take the hands behind the back, drop the shoulders, lift the chest, lift the chin. It's really opening up the shoulders and chest. Well done, taking the arms out in front, push the hands away so you're separating your shoulder blades and put the chin on the chest. She's sniffing to see if she can get up to no good. Okay, well done. Just moving on to the neck, I want you to take the one ear towards the shoulder and then the opposite ear and shoulder, I want you to think about separating them. That's a big length there, so you can stretch right down the traps, what she got in her mouth. She's gone behind me to chew it, whatever it is. Gently release. Oh, let's do the other side. This is the worst side for me. Okay, release it. Well done. Putting the soles of the feet together. 
Just move them away from you, putting the hands on the floor. We're going to take it into a tortoise stretch. So if you can walk the fingers underneath, you're aiming to get the elbows to the floor, but don't worry if you can't. And then pull yourself in, getting a big stretch in that back. That's it. Tortoise stretch, my favourite one. Whew. Hurts so because I've not been stretching much lately, have you? and then walk your way out of there that's it now straighten the legs let's go this way straighten the legs for me where are you ripping up <laughs> double hamstring stretch so first of all i want you to take the hands behind the back and we're going to tip from the hip so keep the chest lifted you might not be able to get very far that's my limit It. and then I want you to round from the back then that's it pull the toes in push the heels out so feeling that right down the backs of the legs and then gently release okay so we're going to take one ankle across the thigh so I've got my left ankle over if that helps you when we're doing these stretches so just sitting up nice and tall we're gently just going to push down on that thigh so don't force anything just trying to open up that hip and then leaving the leg where it is we're going to put the opposite heel on the floor and then we're going to walk our bottoms up towards the foot so getting a stretch in the glute here okay otherwise known as your bottom okay so to get a little bit deeper you can flex that top foot so think about pushing the knee away getting as close as you can to that foot on the floor and flexing this top foot How's that feel? That's it, gently release it. Oh, she's just having a little sleep now. It's such cute when she sleeps. <laughs> so take the right ankle across the thigh, sit up nice and tall. Sit gently, open up that hip. When stretching, you should feel um, a tension, not a pain, no sharp pains. More like a tension pain. Okay, put that foot flat on the floor. Same again, walk up to it, flex that top foot. So push the knee away, make it as big as you can. Okay, we're going to put our legs into a W position now. Okay, so you can see the sole of the foot is on the inside of the thigh. Okay, so we're going to get into the quads first. So you can come back onto your arms or back onto your elbows. 
the aim is, so if you've got your left knee over to the left, that back knee, the right leg, the knee, we're trying to keep it as close to the floor as we can, okay? So if you're still quite close to the floor like I am, you can challenge yourself a little bit more, lie down and keep pushing down, so hips forwards, knees down. So you feel that getting into your hip flexor as well as your quad. So, and release. So leaving your legs in that same position, you're going to take the left hand behind. Okay, we're going to push the hips forwards. We're going to take that right arm up into the air. So again, stretch down your torso and your hip flexor. Perfect. Just take a seat on top there and lie on that left leg. And guess what? We're going to do the other side. This time it's the back leg, remember the knee that we want to try and keep in the floor. So it might be better on one side than the other, like straight away my knee lifts on this one when I'm on my elbows. So because I'm trying to still find that challenge and I'm going to stay on my elbows, I won't go on my back. So it's hips forwards. And knee down. Take that right hand behind, push the hips forwards, reach that left arm up and over. That's it, when you're done there, we're going to take a little lie down. Not much room here because of that sexy. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so we're going to lie on our backs now. Just wondering. No, we're not. We're going to lie on our fronts. Sorry. <laughs> so I think if I move this way, you should be able to see me. There. Okay. So we're going to start off um, with single quad stretch. So if you just bring one heel up to the bottom here, that's it. Rest your forehead on your hands. Push your hips into the ground. Quad, a good muscle to stretch. If you have knee problems, especially, usually it's because you tight quads. Something I learned myself. So keep pushing the hips down. And then gently switching over sides. 
few more advanced, you could always do double legs, couldn't you? And hold it for longer. So we're going to take it into pigeon next. So I'm going to do a modified version because not everyone can do pigeon. So when I say pigeon, we're going to cross the front left leg in front and you're going to lengthen the back leg. So if I show you here. So this would be typically your pigeon, trying to bring that front as far forwards as you can. Now for a modified one, what am I going to show you? So modified one, basically you'd sit on your left butt cheek here, so that'd be your modified one. And you could still lengthen that back leg and just take a little lie down here. So whichever you want to be, you can be this way or on your bottom. So just get into the hip flexors and glutes. And then switching over sides. So that you can see what that back leg's doing. And the front foot forwards. So you could stay here if you want to modify it. You can sit here and lie down on top of that leg. Okay, and release. Just lie on your tummy for me and place the elbows underneath the shoulders and then lift the chest, look up towards the ceiling. More advanced version, you can come up onto your hands. So just getting a stretch in your tummy. I don't always think you can feel this stretch until you've done an ab, ab class, which I did yesterday, so now I can feel it. And release. So we're going to come around now onto our backs. Single hamstring stretch. I bang about on about this one quite a lot because what I see is people with a bent leg pulling it up as far as they can. Well, that's not what, we're, not what we're trying to do. You're going to be getting more in the glutes there. So what we're looking for is the hamstring. So you've got to straighten your leg, flex your foot, so toe towards you, heel up towards the ceiling. Keep it as straight as you can and bring it in. The moment it starts bending, you're not really getting into that hamstring as well. So it's just hold that single hamstring stretch. Keep flexing that foot. Whoa. Feel it in your calf. So just focusing on the one leg for a few stretches. Okay, release the leg, but let it drop out to the side. Because I don't think you can't see my other foot here, can you? Can you see it's pointing up towards the ceiling? So don't want it to roll around. Keep your hips 
So to keep your hips pointed up towards the ceiling, that foot needs to be pointing up as well. So we're getting a stretch here in your adductors. and then lift that leg and we're going to take it over to the other side but can you see that bottom leg the toes are still pointing up so it's getting a more stretch in adductor now sorry ab abductors what muscle am i on <laughs> monday It. Then leaving that leg where it is, so we're going to bend the opposite leg and cross the legs like a lady. Taking the arms out, use the shoulders to anchor yourself here, and then just drop the legs down to the right. Let the legs relax on the floor. It's going to get on the outside of your hips and your lower back. Excellent, let's release that. So this time we're going to take the right leg up into the air for that hamstring stretch. Remember, leg straight, not bent. Flex the foot. Keep flexing, keep lengthening. Good. So now thinking about that left foot, toe pointing up towards the ceiling, release your right leg, just let it drop out to the side. I could cheat you and hold it on the settee, but I won't. <laughs> okay, hips pointed up. The leg drop out to the side. So try not to hold your breath during these uh, stretches. It's what your body naturally wants to do, hold its breath. Okay, now lifting the leg, taking it over into the opposite direction. Keeping that left toe pointing up towards the ceiling. Okay. Bend that leg, cross the legs like a lady, anchor those shoulders and drop the legs down to the left this time. Let the legs relax on the floor. <sighs> Let that chest open up. So now last one, we're just going to do a nice long body stretch. So pointing the toes, taking the arms above the head, make that body as long as you can, pulling the shoulders down away from the ears.
it and release. Mm. Oh, thank you, Nelly. <laughs> Nelly, thank you me for the class. <laughs> um, so that was your intermediate stretch. Um, I will be putting a more advanced stretch on here too. All right, see you later, guys.